Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. This one is called The Third Room by Wiggle. I don't think I've done a puzzle by Wiggle before, so very nice. Um, let's just look at the rules because I think it's just one rule here we got to get into, but it says normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. Then we have numbered rooms. So Clues outside the grid indicate the digit, which has to be placed in the nth cell in the corresponding direction, where n is the digit placed in the first cell in that direction. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's aptly named the third room. All of these clues are threes. So essentially what each of these means is that there's going to be three somewhere in this row or column, depending which one you're looking at. And this digit here is going to tell you where that is. So if you were to put a five here, one, two, what was it? Yeah, the nth cell in the direction. So one, two, three, four, five is the place where the three will go. So that's all there is to it. The third room by Wiggle. So links in the description. Oh, actually, there's a nine hidden near me. I didn't even see that. Links in the description below. Let's get at this one. Have some fun. All right. So... Where are we starting? <clears throat> That's a good question. And I guess a good place to start thinking about these clues is where do ones go? I don't know if that's going to actually get us anything, but it's something to think about. Um, because you can, on a, a row or a column that has a numbered room, you unless the clue itself is a one, you can never put a one in the first cell because it would mean that the digit would be in the first cell. Well, it's already there as a one. So, uh, And in this case, it does not appear like that's going to tell us too much. Yeah, I just want to take a quick look at that, but I don't see anything. So <clears throat> let's start thinking about like corners and those sorts of things or uh, clues that see each other, so across the room, if you will. Because we could say, whatever this thing says, well, it says that's there. Let's just say it is. One, two, three, four, five. That would be the sixth. That was the worst possible choice. Let's say it was here. <laughs> so it would be the seventh cell. Well, this one coming back here is going to say it's the third cell. And essentially what that's going to mean is that these two digits, because they're opposing each other, are going to add to 10 uh, because we're going to have, no matter where you put them, they're just, that's how they're going to work. This one here, that would be a 4 and a 6. Again, that doesn't 6 doesn't work, but that's not the point. So, um, so with all of that said, where are we? <laughs> the answer is we're nowhere at the moment. So let's start thinking about how we can get into this thing a little bit better. So we know there's no ones on any of these. The question is going to be, could there ever be a two or a three? And again, the answer for these particular ones is going to be no, because we can't put the digit that is the clue in the cell uh, at the first position, again, unless it was a one. And we can't do a 2, because if you put this as saying this is 2, that puts the 3 here. Well, this clue is going to say this has to also be a 2. So that puts all of these at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9s, essentially. Now, 1, 2, 3, so we're... And the something we can kind of take out of this is that one of these is going to be from four five six the other one is going to be from seven eight nine because they can't obviously both be in the same region so that means one of these will be a three now these two can't be a threes because that would mean that they are in the third position so this would have to simultaneously be threes these are not threes this is now we can start moving this is seven, so that is the seventh position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Okay, now, like we said, these guys will add to 10, which means this can never be a nine. This could never be a nine. And, oh, wait, we do the same thing over here, sorry. This is also a seven. Let's put that in. 
and let's start thinking about what these can be because again in these digits here we can use the same bits of logic these can't be ones twos or threes so they're four five six they're not sevens anymore eights and nines one of these will be eight or nine and this one and this one can't be nine because again the same thing this one can't be nine in fact we can do more reduction on this side or both of these sides neither one of these can be eights this one can't be a seven so this actually just will be a four six so one two three four or six one of these two is the three now we can put twos down here because we don't have that other side pressuring it. So it's going to be one of these two will be a two. Okay, now what else can we say? Uh, we can go back again to these guys and these guys. One of them will be an eight, so one of these two will be a three. That means one of these two will be a two as well to index back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight can't be seven. This is eight. This is the three. This is the two. Let's get rid of that. Now we can say this is eight. Get rid of eights from all these. And let's think further. Now this guy can't be a seven because I would put the three here. Four and six, that one or that one. I mean, those two are, yeah, that could still work this way. Okay, uh, let's see. We can, we can also do the same things up here. So this guy here, we can't, <clears throat> excuse me, we have to make them add to 10. So they're going to be, they can't be fives. So let's get rid of that. So this is either going to be four, six, or three. And it can't be three, because again, the three will never go in this position. So this just is also a four six, which means this is not a four six. Now this three has to either be in the fifth or the ninth position. So does this one, uh, five or nine. I guess either one of those could work. Uh, what about... No, we already did you, we did you, we got you, you, and you. Okay, what more can we now say? What can we get into this guy? It was probably the similar situation we've had down here, where this is not going to be one, two, or three. It could be four, it can't be five, because they're seeing each other. So if they were, if it was a five, it'd mean that the three is here, and these would both be fives. Six, and can't be nine. So yes, it is a four, six pair, and this is a four, six pair as well. All right, let's go up to here. Again, not one, two, or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, no sevens at all. And we'll put the eight and nine in for the moment. <clears throat> and then we'll say this guy can't be a five, this guy can't be a five again, because they'd both be pointed to the same spot. That's another four, six. This guy can't be nine because that would mean this guy would have to be, and again, this is a 4-6, so it just is 4-6. Being a little uh, <laughs> slow on getting these things and just seeing everything right. But anyway, what about this? You can't be 8. You could be 5, or you could be 9. Those are possible. Actually, we can just say it is because of what we put into here. We have the 3s. So that goes there. This has to be 9. This is not 9. And this, again, is a 4-6 pair. Good. Now that forces this to be a 3, which means this has to be a 9. And we're getting somewhere now. What else do we have here? That one's done. Those guys are looking okay. What about you two? Can't be 1s. Can't be... No, we could be 2s here. Again, we don't have the corner restraint. Not you, though. Twos can't be threes, could be fours, can't be fives, can't be fours, sorry, because we have four, six pairs on both sides, can't be fives, can't be sixes, can't be sevens. Okay, 
this one then is just a given because it can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, or nine. Oh wait, actually no, there's there's a two seven possibility here, but this one can't be. I'm just making sure I'm doing that right. This one could be a two. Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah, okay, that's right. Let's go back to here. But oh, this can never be the seven because again, this would force a three here. So that's the removal of the seven from both of them, even though there isn't a seven. So this is actually a two eight pair, which means this is the two, this is the eight, this is the three. Now we can put the four, six, four, six, four, six, and four. That's going to tell us where these other guys go now. And this is the six, of course. So uh, three here. That one's good. Let's go through them systematically. That one's done. Uh, this one says it's this one, which means this is the two we did earlier. That one there is good. Okay, we should just have a spot or two two left over. Let's see if we can just sort out which ones are which. Yes, we can. This one here, the six, says this one. So that's three and three. Now we can just plop in the rest of this as our indexing, and we should be golden. Let's see. Where are we at? You have to be five. You have to be seven. Is that all of them? No, you have to be seven. You have to be eight. You have to be five. And that is now all of them. Okay, now let's jump into Sudoku. And it's because you should have a lot of this uh, working now. Uh, I don't know what this, uh, this six is probably just there to, to make it a unique uh, solve. All right, let's try something else. Those twos and well, twos aren't helping us, ones aren't helping us, threes are done. So trying to find the next spot we can jump in. Because I think I've done all of the, yeah, I've done all of the um, the notations on these clues. It's going to be the higher digits that are going to get us to the next place. So one of those two, one of those, one of those. We've got a lot of X-wings here. I'm not marking some of these, but here we go. Sevens. That's what we're needed to get to. At least for that one. One of these will be a seven, which means one of those. Maybe the eights and nines will be more friendly to us. Yep, this is eight. And one of those two. Okay. Thought we'd be getting some more things easily. I mean, do have these... Uh, perimeter guys we could work with. Let's do those. One and two, one and five. Okay, there we go. That's a one and a five. This is the one and the two. What about these guys then? This is a one five as well. Okay, there we go. We just had to look at the perimeter. Now let's get back into this. One. And don't see anything else on that one just yet. What is this a two eight? Can't quite determine those at the moment, but this is a two. Good. What are these guys? Seven and five? Nope, those aren't there either. Threes reset are done. Again, we just have to get ourselves going on some of these guys, and it's looking like the higher digits seem to be wanting to help more than the other ones currently. One of those two, one of those three. One of those two. It's not telling us much here. Where are you? Where's the one that's going to get us going? I know you're here somewhere. I don't think it's the sixes. Are we back to the sevens? But I don't think we had. Yeah, we already put what we had in those. Doors. So let's find the eights and nines again. And not get where we want to be. Okay, oh, maybe this nine clue here is going to help us. Yeah, that's what it is, sorry. The, the, the nine clue standing out here is going to put a nine in, which should help us then finalize this. So this is a nine. Means one of those two will be. Okay. Okay, 
and not as helpful as I thought it might be, but... Okay. Two and eight. Maybe there's more in the pr on the edges or something. I'm just not quite finding the right thing here. Uh, these are two, five, and nine. That doesn't say much. These are five and seven. Doesn't say much. This is a 5-9 pair, though. Now I see that, which means this is a 1-2. There we go. 1-2. 8-2. This is a 2. Good. Now we have some 1s we can put in. Or at least we have a 1. Well, there's a couple of them. That one, and all of them are done. Good. We'll try to get these twos finished. That's a two. I think that was the last one. It was threes were done, we said already. So let's go jump into those fours again. One of those. Well, this is just a given of eight. If I could type. And these have to be four and six. That's where the six is going to come into play. Now maybe we have enough on our fours to go a little bit more. New fives. We can do the five. That'll give us the seven as well. Let's stick on to these guys before we move along. Fives, one of those two, and it can't be this one, so that's a five. Okay, let's get into those sixes now. One of those two. This one, six, please. All right, sevens, eights, and nines. One of those. Okay, eights are helping. Good. This is an eight. I think that was all of those. Now let's go to those nines again. Yes, now we can get more nine-age going. Nines, one of those two. I know there's one given here. I'm just I'm trying to get through these guys. It's a four, so let's jump onto those now. That's a four. That's the four. And that should be enough to get us, yeah, four and seven. That's five and seven and nine and five. Good. Now this is a given six. This is a given nine. This is a given six. This is a given nine. Now the five here gives us our nine and our five. And this has to be seven and this has to be nine. There we go. Got through it. Again, just took us a minute to try to find the specific digits we had to put in to start getting everything rolling again. But very fun puzzle, um, quite approachable, uh, particularly with the fact that we have so many of these uh, same digits in the numbered room clues. So they really start to uh, pinch where things can go. And then once you get moving, it kind of just, uh, it's like a boulder down a hill. It just kind of keep going and going. So very fun puzzle. Uh, enjoyed that a lot. Hope y'all did as well. And uh, that's that. See you next time.